Hello everyone, welcome to GS Core. Today in this session, we'll be discussing about mains concept mapping and approach to mains. That means how one should approach the, uh, the questions and on the basis of questions, how one should focus on the concepts involved in that particular question, which will help in the, uh, in the next exams as well. Right? And the topic of our discussion is disaster management. Right? So the question that we will be taking in order to understand uh, the approach to write answers and to develop concepts is from 2022's, from 2022's mains examination. And the question is, question is, explain the mechanism and occurrence of cloudburst in the context of Indian subcontinent, right? So we are supposed to explain the mechanism and occurrence of cloudburst in the context of Indian subcontinent. And also we are supposed to highlight two recent examples of the instances of cloudburst, right? So here there are clearly two parts of the question. First, we are supposed to highlight the mechanism and occurrence of uh, cloudburst and then we are supposed to highlight or we are supposed to give two examples of cloudburst and this question was for 10 markers in 2022's mains examination right so here in this question as the question is focusing on the mechanism and occurrence we are supposed to discuss how exactly how exactly cloudburst occurs in indian subcontinent right so in this particular question in this particular question the concept involved is of cloudburst. The concept involved is of cloudburst. How cloudburst occur? Fine. How cloudbursts occur? So, for the occurrence of cloudburst, there is a requirement of moisture laden, moisture laden winds. Winds which are which have sufficient amount of moisture we need and then once you have moisture laden wind then there is a phenomenon there is one important aspect for the occurrence of cloudburst and that is orographic lift orographic lift so these moisture laden winds they are pushed by the orographic barrier in the form of mountains and they are pushed in the uh, in the upward direction as these moisture laden winds are pushed in the upward direction their temperature goes on reducing and as their temperature reduces eventually they achieve saturation the moisture laden winds become saturated and as they saturate they get converted into the clouds and in the case of cloudburst the Clouds are cumulonimbus clouds. They get converted into cumulonimbus clouds, which are filled with which are filled with droplets of water. When a stage reaches where it becomes difficult to hold further water vapor or fur further water droplets, there will be sudden downpour. There will be sudden downpour with high velocity and strength with high velocity and strength there will be sudden downpour and that is what is termed as cloudburst that is what is termed as cloudburst fine so cloudburst is the result of moisture laden winds and orographic lift which is a phenomenon that leads to occurrence of cloudburst in the Indian subcontinent, right? And in the context of climate change, there are two important aspects that have been highlighted for the occurrence of climate change, especially in the Indian subcontinent. Those two, occur those two uh, reasons are firstly, increasing temperature, increasing temperature. And because of the increase in temperature, there is high relative humidity in, in winds, high relative humidity in the atmosphere. 
right air has high relative humidity and that is the result of increasing temperature so because of these two these two impacts of climate change we are witnessing more cloudburst events in india right so once you highlight the mechanism you should also mention these two uh, these two aspects as a passing reference uh, because indian con con subcontinent is getting vulnerable to cloudburst events because of climate change that leads to increase in temperature and as a result of increase in temperature air consists of high relative humidity right so that is what is the concept involved uh, in this particular question now concept is very important especially uh, the topics like disaster management because disaster management is relatively a smaller topic and uh, if you are done with the disasters which are uh, which occur in india then you will be uh, done with the subject you just have to upgrade with the current affairs right so it is a one time exercise for a subject like disaster management if you know the disasters that occur in india the mechanism for their occurrence you just have to focus on those disasters which are current uh, uh, disasters right for example why they asked question on cloudburst in 2022's mains examination because uh, there were instances of cloudburst especially in the amarnath shrine amarnath shrine uh, witnessed cloudburst uh, in 2022 and that's why the question was asked right so that is the concept related to this particular question now let us understand how one can approach the answer of this question so question is about cloudburst and that's why in the introductory part in the introductory part we will define cloudburst as it is a keyword in this context right in this question it is a keyword and that's why we will define it what do we mean by cloudburst so cloudburst is is rainfall rainfall of more than of more than 10 cm more than 10 cm per hour in 100 square kilometers of area in 100 square kilometers of area if more than 10 cm of rainfall occur is occurring in uh, within 1 hour then that event is considered as the event of cloudburst right so that is how we should define and you can even uh, highlight the uh, highlight the causes of climate uh, climate change as it is leading to increase in the instances of cloudburst right so you can also write like uh, with with increasing global warming global warming instances of cloudburst are in increasing instances of cloudburst are increasing and you can even highlight the areas which are vulnerable to cloudburst right for example uh, you can write about the mountainous regions in india especially himalayan regions right those are primarily primarily the regions which are vulnerable to disasters and apart from that even other hilly areas are also vulnerable right so that is what is the introduction then in the body part of the answer in the body part of the answer we'll write about the mechanism and occurrence mechanism and occurrence in the context of indian subcontinent and this point we have already discussed where you can highlight the uh, importance of or the need of moisture laden winds orographic lift which ultimately leads to formation of cumulonimbus cloud and cumulonimbus cloud eventually uh, gets saturated eventually they do not uh, have the capacity to hold water vapor and that's why there will be sudden downpour that instance that event is known as the cloudburst right so that mechanism which we have already discussed you can highlight here then in the second part of the body we are supposed to highlight the examples two recent two examples we were supposed to highlight so you can write about the 2022's event of amarnath right then in 2013 in uttarakhand uttarakhand right so those instances you can highlight 
uh, as examples of cloud burst right and then conclusion and then conclusion so how we can write the conclusion of this particular uh, question so question is about the cloud burst mechanism and occurrence and uh, the instances of cloud burst so here you can highlight uh, that with increase in the instances of cloud burst in the instances of cloud burst we need we need first in uh, a network of a network of doppler radars a network of doppler radars is needed why because with doppler radar network we'll be able to have accurate weather forecasting which is important for understanding which regions are vulnerable to uh, to these kind of disasters right then awareness generation awareness generation once you know that some regions are vulnerable some regions are witnessing the instances of cloud burst recurrently you should ensure that people in that particular area are aware of their vulnerability to cloud burst awareness and this awareness is not only about is not only amongst the people but also amongst the institutions which are working uh, in the disaster management for that particular area right and then uh, you can even ensure that mitigation of climate change mitigation of climate change right so with these kind of steps we will be able to reduce the instances of will be able to reduce the impact of cloud burst right so that should be the approach for this question right so for disaster management it is all about the understanding of disasters to which india is vulnerable because you will have to be prepared for those disasters uh, the uh, regions vulnerable then causes impact what steps have been given by ndma what are the ndma guidelines with respect to that disaster what recent steps have been taken what does uh, international agreement say about those disasters so this is uh, this is one time exercise that you will have to do for the subjects like disaster management once you are done with that then whenever uh, you are supposed to write means you just have to focus on the current disasters that have occurred in india and you uh, should focus more on those kind of disasters and revise them more right so that should be the uh, approach for this answer now based on this question what probable questions we can expect probable questions so from this particular uh, question we can say that they can ask mechanism of mechanisms of any disaster to which india is vulnerable to be it tsunami right be it cyclones right then uh, you can even expect questions on drought drought if not the mechanism of drought uh, they can they can ask you the uh, the causes of drought even urban floods urban floods even they can ask questions on glof glacial lake outburst floods right then even you can uh, expect question on simple floods right coastal erosion coastal erosion so all these questions you can expect on the basis of question that we have discussed right and that's why you should be prepared uh, for the disasters to which india is vulnerable to right so that way you should prepare for this particular this uh, this particular topic of disaster management so that is about uh, our uh, concept mapping for for means for disaster management thank you